This is a wig that I made, um, three bundles of Brazilian Body Wave and, um, what is this, 20 inches? No, 18, 18 inch, and a 18 inch lace closure. Only part of my head that is out is a little bit of my widow's peak and my temples, cause it's kinda hard to cover those, they kinda dip in far, and a little bit of sideburn action. Um, I colored this hair with quick blue bleach powder and 40 volume developer from Clairol Pure White. As you can see, it's lighter here, and then it's pretty much an ombre effect in the back. So what I did was I sectioned these two parts off, and I put the bleach here, let it sit for about 15 minutes before I started the ombre. There's plenty of videos on YouTube about how to ombre hair. Um, Y'all can check those out to see like how you do it. Um, or I'll just make a video on it with a different wig. But of course this is done already so I can't show y'all this particular wig being colored. But yeah, I get a lot of compliments on this hair. People think it's a sew-in, but it's a wig, sis. Secure. And it's just combs. Um, no wig cap. If you like what you see and you want to see how I achieve this look, keep watching. So I really don't like wearing wig caps with my wigs. Um, first things first with making a wig look natural, you want to make sure that your cornrows are flat. I like to do my going outwards from the middle since I usually wear it in the middle part. Um, and I just connect the hang times and stitch up the... Um, Stitch up the remaining hang time in the back so that everything is flat and ready to go. I don't like wearing wig caps. I just personally don't like them. I mean, people can use them. They're useful. I just don't use them. All right, so first things first, put the wig on. So I have an adjustable strap and combs in my wig. So I just put it on and stick the front combs under this braid. Combs, boom, boom. All right, Let's just comb it out. Okay, I'm just gonna grab this mirror so I can see what I'm doing. it out. I like for my parts to be a little bit off center just because I have a widow's peak and I like for my widow's peak to be out because I like to have my own hairline going on so yeah I take my rat tail comb and I just go underneath the part and open up my hair. Alright, y'all see that? already so then what I like to do is take a curling iron and I have the hot shot tools one I don't know what size this is and I wish it said it on here but um, doesn't really matter the size um, I got it on 450 degrees so what I do is uh, you have to be easy because you can burn yourself, so. I take it and I place it on the part and kind of smooth that hair down to make it flat. Don't sit it there for too long because this is lace and you can burn your lace and you can also burn yourself underneath. So be really careful. Get it nice and flat. Then what I like to do is I like to take the front and push it back 
so that I can kind of create some lift here. And this way you really got to be careful. I burned my forehead before. And this. You can do this with a hot comb as well, but I like it better with this. You all see that? Okay. Then I'll do the other side. here as well just to give it a little more volume see that kind of gave it a little lift All right and I'll just put in some loose curls I take big sections so I ain't got time so I know. just curl it away from your face it's crazy I've been doing hair for a long time and I'm just learning well kind of sort of learning how to use a curling iron if you can tell it's getting all tangled up there we go. Okay. I usually do my curls with a flat iron, but I like the way the body comes out with the curling iron. See that? I'm gonna just do that all over the head. Just run my fingers through it. <laughs> okay, so we're pretty much styled. Now we're gonna do the edges. So I always use my trusty Design Essentials Sleek Max Edge Control.
take some spritz and just spray it a little bit just to set it in place. Wipe off any drippage and tie that around for about a minute, two minutes once I walk out the door. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to take it off in a minute. See that lift? That's what you call a body. Take it off, take it off, take it off, take it off. Get into it. I'm gonna set that thing off. You can put a little powder on the part. I mean, I don't really need to, but I'm gonna do it for the video. Take any old powder that matches. Um, and I just psh, psh. make sure to focus right at the front of the lace so that you can disguise where the lace starts. And that's pretty much it, y'all. That's how I do my everyday wig. Real simple, fast, efficient. Let me give y'all a spin. And that's it. So that pretty much concludes the video, guys. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, share the video. Follow me on Instagram at Miss Erica Denise and my wig page at Wigs by Erica Denise. Catch y'all in the next video. Peace.